Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 4, from the Passion Translation, as well as the message paraphrase, and it reads as follows. Being wealthy means having lots of friends, but the poor can't keep the ones they have. And the message reads, wealth attracts friends as honey draws flies, but poor people are avoided like a plague. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true, speaking about the superficial friends of the rich and wealthy and famous and all these kinds of things. The second somebody's rich and wealthy and famous, people all of a sudden want to flock to them because, you know, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And if you connected with the right people, if you're with these wealthy people, they're going to take you on their yachts and they're going to take you to their holiday homes and all these kinds of things. And, and when you're in that position, when you've got that kind of status and that kind of money, there are so many many superficial friends that are drawn to you. As the Passion Translation says, it says they will have lots of friends in inverted commas. And I believe that that inverted commas is crucial because it's basically saying that they are superficial friends. It's basically saying that as soon as that money, as soon as that wealth, as soon as that status disappears, all of a sudden, all those friends are going to disappear as well. I was there in high school. I was the guy to know because in my matric and grade 11 year, I was, you know, the guy who threw all the parties and the guy who could organize the parties and had the connections and all those kinds of things. And consequently, I became very popular in those years, whereas in the in my school years leading up to that, I was actually very unpopular. But I was popular in those days because of what I knew and who I knew and what I could do and all these kinds of things. But the friends that I got connected to me as a result of that be, were superficial friends. The moment we went off to university, none of them contacted me anymore and all these kinds of things because of because they could no longer get what they wanted from me because we were in different towns and universities and all these kinds of things, family. And that's superficial friends. Friends who will stick with you for what they can get out of the relationship and not because they actually want to be your friends for any specific reason, family. And that's not what the Lord wants for us. If we're rich, rich and wealthy and famous and all these kinds of things, we need need to allow the Lord to lead us and guide us in the kind of friends that we choose, family. We need to choose, allow the Lord to give us friends that will stick with us through thick and thin, that will stick with us through richness as well as through poverty, family. That that we And that is when the Lord gives us friends that stick closer than a brother. And that's what the Lord wants for us, family. He wants us to choose our friends wisely. He wants to lead us and guide us because He will get us connected with the right people. Some of the friends are the, in our lives for a reason, for a season, and they might not be there forever, but there are also ones that will stick closer than a brother, that will stick through us, through thick and thin, throughout life, and even there, they'll still be in our life for a reason, family. And that is so that we can grow one another and encourage one another to let iron sharpen iron. Because if we are surrounded by superficial friends, the moment we are poor, as, as the message says there, we will be avoided like a plague. The moment we no longer are giving them what they want, they will avoid us like the plague family. We need to allow the Lord to lead us and guide us in our friends because who we choose as our friends is crucial family. Show me the five closest friends that you have and it tells me a lot about the kind of person you are. So if we surround ourselves with good and godly friends, if we allow the Lord to lead us and guide us in the friends that we choose, we will be surrounded by good and godly friends not and not superficial friends. We will be surrounded by friends who will lead us on the path that God has for us and assist us and encourage us and lift us up and all these kinds of things. And that is what the Lord wants for us, family. So I want to encourage you, if you've not been using wisdom when choosing your friends, allow the Lord to help you. And if you've got the superficial friends that are around you, ask the Lord to remove them. It may be difficult. It may even hurt to have them removed. But at the end of the day, it is better for you. It is better for your soul. It is better for, for your mental and emotional well-being to have those friends removed from your life. And if you put those, those superficial friends on the altar, the Lord will remove them and he will replace them with far greater friends, friend, true Christian friends who will be there with you through thick and through thin, who will be there to lift you up and encourage you when you're going through difficult times. So I want to encourage you to do just that. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. 
Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad that, Lord, we thank you for your word and your advice in your word, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to exercise wisdom and discernment when we are choosing our friends, Lord. Help us to let you lead us and guide us in who we get connected with and who we are associated with, Lord. Lord, there where we've got superficial friends, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will remove them from our lives, Lord, as difficult as it may be, remove them from our lives, Lord. Help us to put those friends on the altar, Lord, so that you can replace those friends with good and godly friends who will help us down the path that you have for our lives, who will be there to lift us up and encourage us when we need it, Lord, and that who will stick and friends who will stick closer than a brother, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing and accomplishing in and through our our lives and our friend circle as we submit our friend circle to you, Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that it says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.